Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Timely Tarot. This is Tanya. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Good afternoon, good evening, Divine Timely Tarot family. I love you guys. I really, 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 really appreciate you guys. Ugh. Welcome new subscribers. We're here doing a general reading for Gemini. This is for the second week of April 2023. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini, I've already shuffled sage, prayed over your cards. Let's get some overall energies here for you. God needs just answers to Holy Spirit. What do you have for Gemini? 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 Six of Swords. Believe and succeed. So you're coming out of something. You're moving. You're moving forward here. You're moving to calmer waters in a situation here. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. What else you got for Gemini? What else you got for Gemini? Ooh, opportunity beckons. This is the Four of Cups. You're thinking about an opportunity that possibly you have missed. That's what I'm getting from here. You're thinking about an opportunity or somebody. And with the Ace of Swords, Clarity and Belief, And we have justice at the bottom of it to de de detach. You definitely have moved away from something. Thinking about an opportunity that you did miss. And you've definitely gotten some clarity. Universe has given you some clarity on the situation. Okay. Let's see. believe and succeed here. Okay, we have the high priestess. And the knight of swords. Why is the high priestess with the knight of swords? Okay, so something has come in, something came to the light for you. Somebody possibly was holding information, holding some secrets, some secrets possibly came out. Someone here was definitely using their intuition. You have the fool at the bottom of the deck. So you're taking a risk on something here. Yeah, something happened here. The tower. 
Could be dealing with Scorpio, or Leo, Pisces. Something wasn't stable. There was a lot of secrets that, that came out here. Somebody possibly was like to keep up a lot of drama. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? Ooh, something here. We could be dealing with a Capricorn, the devil. Something here was toxic. Somebody could have had a lot of addictions here. Somebody feels bound to someone. Why is the devil here with the Four of Cups? We have the Five of Swords and the Page of Cups. And we also have the King of Swords here. So somebody possibly played a lot of mind games. This could have been self-sabotaging. But somebody wants to apologize. Somebody wants to apologize. Because someone feels that either... You're thinking this way, Gemini, or the person that you're dealing with, or the person that you're thinking about. Because here, you're thinking about somebody. And this person, it was a missed opportunity because something here was very toxic. Somebody here played a lot of mind games. Now someone wants to apologize, start something new with somebody. Somebody here definitely wants to speak the truth. And this definitely could be you because this is your energy. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, you're, we have the magician. Yeah, you're trying to manifest something with the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? We have the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Swords. So you're definitely in your mind about a situation. It's like someone has their back towards you. You're not speaking to somebody at this time. And it's most likely this person that you feel that you missed an opportunity with. I did also see the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. So this could be somebody that you really feel a real bond with. Mm-hmm. Someone here got some clarity. They were in their head so tough about it. And they had to cut something off. Somebody here had to cut a person off, a thing. I don't know. Looks like someone's watching someone right now. Why is the Eight of Swords with the Queen of Swords for Gemini? The Six of Swords. Someone had to move on. and the eight of swords yeah there's changes the big nice happy changes are coming in here for you something is definitely going to go in your favor here you're being strong you're controlling your emotions give me some more on this wheel of fortune the pay the two of pinnacles so you're getting yourself balanced You've ended something successfully. And you're moving on to something new. But you're very guarded at this time. You want to balance things out. You want justice. Somebody here could have been just totally going through a karmic situation that has ended. And that's the truth, the Ace of Swords here twice. You definitely got some clarity on a, on a situation here. Could have been dealing with a Leo. Now you're taking action towards something. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Towards something or someone that you are very, very, very passionate about. 
you are definitely looking at somebody at this time. You're looking at this person online too. You guys make a good couple. You think somebody is very attractive. You have a lot of passion for this person. A lot, a lot, a lot of passion for this person. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow, oh, wow. But you're patiently, you're patiently waiting. You want to communicate with this person. You're trying to find out some information, but you, hoo -hoo, you want to go towards this person in a passionate way. Why is the king and the queen here? Ooh, you love this person. The queen of cups. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be any sign. All the signs are here on the table, okay? But this is somebody you want to offer your love to because this is somebody that you are in love with. And you have a lot of passion for this person. You got a lot of passion for this person. You want a second chance. Judgment at the bottom of the deck. What I tell you? You making a judgment because you're in love with this person. This person emotionally fulfills you. This is definitely someone in your past. Definitely somebody in your past. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You got a lot of love for this person. And you're making a judgment to move towards your happiness. Wow. You definitely want to offer something stable with this King of Pentacles. You want from the Knight of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Now you're ready to offer something stable and grounded in long term. Wow, Gemini. Wow, wow, wow. What is the situation? Let me see. What is the situation here? Let's get a let's get another another jack here. You're kind of stressing. Are you stressing about this? With the nine of swords being here, you definitely want to collaborate and heal something. You want to collaborate and heal something with this person. There's definitely things going on behind the scenes, so I say divine timing here is definitely at work in your situation, Gemini. So be patient, which you are being patient. You have not communicated with this person yet. You have not communicated with this person yet. What's the situation here with Gemini? What is the situation here with Gemini? God, angels, and sisters, Holy Spirit. What is the situation here with Gemini? What is the situation? Yeah, you want success and victory with this person. You want to build. You want to invest. You definitely want to invest in this person. You see this person gets a lot of attention. You want to invest in something and you want to have success and victory. But somebody here is probably blocked. Give me some more on the situation. Yeah, the four of cups again. You don't want this to be a missed, another missed opportunity. It seems like this, this is coming back around. It looks like the universe is possibly giving you a second chance with at love or with someone in your past. Three of Pentacles again. This is you wanted to collaborate with this person, wanted to come together, work with this person. You got seven of cups at the bottom. Are you confused? And the six of pentacles. Are you wondering if this person is giving to someone else if this person has options who is this person that gemini feels that they miss an opportunity with who is the person that gemini feels that they miss an opportunity with who is this person who is this person god angels ancestors holy spirit hmm This is, this is someone you definitely had a tower moment with. You definitely was very attracted to this person. 
You could have been juggling this person. You were in your head, or this person was in their head about a situation. Hmm. This is your wish fulfillment. This is somebody that you that you feel is your wish fulfillment. This person was a secret. You were juggling this person. This person was a secret. This was, so somebody could have had a family situation. Give me some more information on a person that Gemini feel that they missed an opportunity with. More information on this person. So you're watching this person, definitely. You got the sun card here. This is prosperity, abundance. This is something coming to the light. This is something that's, that makes, that's gonna make you happy. You're taking action towards this person. But this person could be guarded. Yeah, you wanna make an offer here to this person with the Knight of Cups. But this person is possibly, someone here is very guarded right now. But you're taking action towards this person. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or just somebody that is totally, you know, this person is very, it's, it's, it looks like they could be single. They're very abundant. They're looking good. They're smelling, they're getting a lot of attention. But it looks like somebody here could be, is single right now. But somebody here has someone blocked. Someone here is, is, is blocked, okay? But you're rushing in. <laughs> you're, just, you're trying to decide if you should rush in. Yeah, you got the will of fortune again. Something is definitely going to go in your favor. I say go for it. <laughs> I say go for it. I say go for it. Or maybe this could be you, that you're finally single. This could be you finally single. Let's get some advice. First of all, first I want to see what signs you're, de you're dealing with. What signs are you really, 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 really dealing with? Okay, let's see. Let's get these. What sign is Gemini? What is the signs that Gemini is dealing with? What are the signs? What are the signs that Gemini is dealing with? What are the signs? Oops, I flipped out. Aquarius. Someone that's free spirited. What other signs? What sign? Sagittarius. Someone that's very adventurous. Uh, Aries. Or maybe they have these in their charts. Let's see, what else? What else you got for? Oh, Aries. Some of y'all definitely dealing with a fire sign. Or someone that has fire in their chart. Or this is a very fiery, passionate, courageous individual, very ambitious individual. What else for Gemini? Let's get up one more. Oh, 
Pisces. And Taurus. Okay. Let's see what your advice is. What am I gonna? I'll use these for the advice. Give me some advice. Universe, give me some advice for Gemini. Go with the flow. The will of fortune again. Just chill because something is definitely going in your favor. Just go with the flow. There's nothing else you need to do. If you're considering making a call, sending a message, I mean, I would go for it. I would go for it. <laughs> Looks like you guys have been going through a healing process because we got the star and uh, I told y'all this was the six of this is the six of wands. Y'all got the star and the six of swords. So healing begins and you have healed. So you guys have definitely been going through a healing uh, experience. Your heart chakras are healing. There's definitely, the, with temperance being here, you definitely want a second chance with this person. You, you heal from heartbreak here. You're, 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 you're feeling very optimistic, too, about, you know, your situation. Definitely things going on behind the scenes for you. Your angels, guys, ancestors, Holy Spirits, whoever you pray to, is definitely looking out for you. Okay? Definitely looking out for you. One last card. Ooh, that came out. Yep, time to open up. Open up. You're holding on to this person. You're holding on to this person. With the nine of wands, rest and reconsider. You're, you're thinking about it. You're definitely thinking about it. The two of cups coming together. You feel like this is a soulmate connection here. You feel very, you feel very spiritually connected to someone here. Look, Emperor. It's time for you to take the lead. This could be your divine masculine or your divine feminine. This is your person. This is definitely your person. That's why you were thinking like, wow, I literally missed an opportunity with somebody that I feel strongly, strongly connected to. I don't know. It could be a water sign. I don't know. But this is what I have for you, Gemini. If you resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.